So, all right, I'm back in Star Citizen. I don't really know what to even call this. I, I've actually done things like this before, where it's... I'm kind of on a quest to make haptic feedback of buttons feel better. And I actually did a tutorial in Star Citizen on this same subject, and that was on the right pad. Like, I put... Like, I have tap things around the edges, and that was a... Uh, just making it feel better if you were using joystick move. Now this one is when you have the left stick set to a D-pad and you put activators. Like I actually made myself a note and I called it left stick D-pad regular long haptics all caps outer ring numnuts. <laughs> and so what that means is so I have a regular press pulls up my Moby Glass. I have a long press pulls up my map. Which is great. The problem is... When you have this set to a D-pad and you're doing haptics, if I put haptic to high on regular, it doesn't matter the setting, so I'm just going to go with high. I put high on regular, high on long, now the long feels okay, I hold it, let's get that back up, I hold it, bump, I feel it, hold it, bump, I feel it, I do the regular press, and that's where the problem is, it, it's like, the dunk, it is like hitting both of them, it does not feel like a normal haptic, and yes, that, <laughs> it drives me crazy, I, I it just, it drives me nuts. I hate the way it feels. Now you can take the haptic off on the regular press and it'll feel okay on the long press. I even tried taking it off on both and putting a start press, but it's still on that regular press. It does like this weird little, it's like a seizure. Like it, it hits it twice. It doesn't feel right. So what I figured out is put it off put it off. Then, pay, you know, pay attention to where you have your dead zone. Set up an outer ring binding with roughly the same uh, radius. Make, make it an empty binding, which is also something that I covered before, using empty bindings to create haptics. Or, uh, empty bindings are amazing. I'm just going to get that out of the way again. I'm just going to put that out there right now. I use empty bindings a lot. So now on this empty binding, set that to high. So now that I have the controller, I need to just behind the scenes, I need to make sure I look at the recording screen more often. So, all right. I'm using the activator settings. This, I've tried that too, that it doesn't. So just to verify, we'll put that to high. Let's go back in here just to verify that it wasn't from this. Yeah, that's doing the same thing. The regular press gets all funky. So go in. Empty binding. Select to show activator. Make the haptic high. Make sure you have this set to use your activator settings. Now, thump, I feel it. Thunk closes. Thunk, I feel that. The only thing here is that the long press gets a little... Like you're actually not feeling it on the long press. But I can live with that and actually... Wait, 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 hold up. Can I even improve upon this right now? Sorry, right, if I do... Make a long press that is empty. Mm -hmm. 
No, that kind of that messes it up. It's doing the same thing. So it's kind of a little bit of a trade-off, but for this, take that off. I personally would rather feel the haptic on that regular press instead of the long press, because the long press is like, I'm deliberately holding it, so I don't need the haptic feedback so much on that. I want to feel it whenever I click it. Yeah, so now I feel it, I pull up the chat. Regular press, close it. Long press, feel it, holds up my inventory. Long press, close it. And to me, that just makes it feel much more... much more consistent with how I like the behavior, which might be just a very particular <laughs> kind of personal preference thing. I just wanted to share that as another option, which... I don't know why I never thought of that before. I mean, it ended up working... It works pretty well. So yeah, you just uh, ignore any haptics on those. Put the haptic on an empty ring binding. It gives you a consistent haptic disc on the outer edge of your, uh, your D-pad. So now I can stack up as many activators as I want and not worry about the haptics. So alright, that's all I got. I'm going to get back to it. Making some tweaks and changes to the profile, trying to get it ready for 3.8. But yeah, I just wanted to share that as a little a little thing to think about if you're trying to uh, create a more consistent experience when you're making your profiles. So, all right, I'll see you around. Bye-bye.